the maze. Harris asked me if I had ever been in the maze at Hampton Court. He said he went in once to show somebody else the way. He had studied it up in a map, and it was so simple that it seemed foolish. It was a country cousin that Harris took in. They met some people who said they had had, had about enough of it. Harris told them they could follow him. They said it was very kind of him and followed. People who had given up all hopes of ever seeing their home and friends again plucked up courage at the sight of Harris and his party and joined the procession. One woman threw a baby, insisting on taking his arm for fear of losing him. Harris kept on turning to the right, but it seemed a long way, and his cousin said he supposed it was a very big maze. It must be because we have walked a good two miles already. Harris began to think it rather strange himself but he held on until they passed the half of a penny bun on the ground that Harris's cousin swore he had noticed there seven minutes ago. Oh, impossible! But the woman with the baby said she herself had taken it from the child and thrown it down there just before she met Harris. She expressed an opinion that he was an imposter. Harris suggested that the best thing to do would be to go back to the entrance and begin again and so they turned and trailed after Harris again, in the opposite direction. About ten minutes more passed, and then they found themselves in the centre. After that, they simply couldn't get anywhere else. Whatever way they turned brought them back to the middle. They all got crazy at last, and sang out for the keeper, and the man came and climbed up the ladder outside, and shouted out directions to them but all their heads were in such a confused swirl that they were incapable of grasping anything, and so the man told them to stop where they were and he would come to them. They huddled together and waited. He was a young keeper, as luck would have it, and then he got lost. They got sight of him rushing about the other side of the hedge, and he would see them and rush to get to them, and they would wait there for about five minutes and then he would reappear again in exactly the same spot and ask them where they had been. They had to wait till one of the old keepers came back from his dinner before they got out. Harris said he thought it was a very fine maze, so far as he was a judge.